Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carmen. Welcome. I wanted to do this video today because I did some videos about the positives and the negatives of each number in numerology. Check those videos out, I'll put links to those below. Um, but out of all of the numbers, 11s have reached out to me the most and they seem to have the most difficulty. And you know, I talk about that in that video. I talk about how being a master number 11 is such a difficult number to have and why it's so difficult for so many people. And so I wanted to do this video today to give some guidance to my master number 11s that are you know, on their journey and still having difficulty figuring things out. And um, we're gonna talk about that more. So in that video, I talk about how master number 11 can be a very, very challenging number. And that's because this is a master number. So you signed up to have this number because you were meant to have challenges in your life um, and you were meant to overcome those challenges. So 11s will go through really, really low lows and they'll go through really, really high highs. It's kind of like a roller coaster being an 11. Really, really bad things will happen to them. They'll go through a lot of turmoil and difficulty and then they will be able to pick themselves up out of this difficulty and out of these challenges that they go through and they will be able to rise out of it very very quickly and that happens because um, they are meant to bring inspiration to other people so their stories can inspire other people and they are meant to be an inspiration to other people and they're also meant to be a bridge so they are kind of like a bridge between the physical world and the spiritual world. And so a lot of 11s will have psychic abilities because of this. There's a lot of things about master number 11 that make it a more challenging number than some of the other numbers. And it is a master number. And um, so 11s were meant to do something of significance and they were meant to do something of importance in this world, something that is unique and something that is original and completely unique only to them that nobody else has done. And so it's meant to be something within their world. So this can either be on a grand scale where they're making a great impact on the world, or it can just be something that is of great impact and great significance in the world that they belong to and something that is unique and original in their world. So it doesn't have to be like something on a grand scale, but um, they are meant to do something of significance and importance. If you wanna find out more about some of the challenges that 11s go through and some of the positives and negatives of this number, then check out that video I did on the positives and negatives of master number 11. I'll put a link to that below. But I want to give some encouragement to my master number 11s and I want to let you guys know that the truth is when it comes to 11, the key is to figure out what it is you were meant to do. What is the significant impact and the significant contribution that is unique only to you that you are supposed to make in this world? Once you figure that out, then your life is no longer challenging. This is what I've learned when it comes to the master number 11. Once they figure this out, the challenge goes away. And so that is the key. That is the key from preventing these low lows from happening anymore. There is a way to cut that off. You guys can do it. You can change it. You can make it so that this challenging life is no longer challenging and you're not experiencing some of those low lows anymore and you're only experiencing you know, the highs or that you're only experiencing good and the highs. You can do that. There is a way. You just have to figure out what it is that you were meant to do. What is the significant contribution that is unique and original that you were meant to make? What is the impact on the world that you were meant to have? Because if you have a master number 11 in your chart, especially if you are a master number 11 life path number, okay, especially for you guys, then you were meant to do something of significance and importance. And you were meant to do something that is unique. 
And so the key is to figure out what that is. And you can use numerology to figure out what that is. And so the way you do that is you look at your soul's urge number. What is your soul's urge number? That is a very key number because it determines what makes you happy in life and what brings you happiness. So to all of my master number 11s out there that are struggling and, you know, still having challenges come up in their life every now and then that'll pop up out of nowhere, the universe is trying to tell you something. The universe is trying to tell you that you're not on the right path. Get onto the right path. You're close, you're almost there, but you haven't quite figured it out yet. And once you do, the challenges will go away. And so take a look at your soul's urge number. What is it that makes you happy? That is a very key number. If you can figure out what it is through that number that you were meant to do, then your life will become so much easier. And a lot of these challenges that you're having will go away. So what you want to do, master number 11, is you want to look at what your soul's urge number is. You want to try to combine that with the 11 energy. So remember in that video, I talk about how the 11 energy is very strong in leadership because they have the double ones in 11. So there's two ones. One is all about leadership and independence. So they have that ability to be great leaders. And we see this a lot with presidents of countries and you know kings and queens of countries. They often have this number. But they also have the qualities of the number two, which is all about cooperation, harmony, being a diplomat, being in balance. So they have that unique ability to be the leader, but then also the counselor and the mediator and the diplomat at the same time. So the key to, for you to figure out what you were meant to do in this lifetime is you want to combine that 11 energy with whatever your soul's urge number is. So let's say your soul's urge number is a number five. Five in numerology represents travel, it represents change, represents transition, um, all of the sensory experiences because we have five senses, right? So we have five senses. Five is a number of the senses. So fives typically will want to seek out sensory experiences. They want to see everything. They want to hear everything. They want to smell and taste everything. So like if you're a master number 11 and your soul's urge is a five, well, you were meant to do something in this world that has to do with that five energy. So like creating something or leading something, being the leader of something that involves travel and change and flexibility and transition. So take a look at what your soul's urge number is and you can check out my videos that I've posted on all of the qualities, the good and the bad qualities of each of the numbers so that that way you can figure out exactly what that energy of that number is that you need to embrace and you need to harness. Figuring out what that is and combining it with the unique qualities of the master number 11 will help you to determine what it is that you were meant to do. What is the significant impact and contribution that you were meant to make? If you combine these two together, it will help you to figure that out. And believe me, master number 11, once you figure that out, your life will become amazing. And all of your challenges, all of the turmoil will just go away and you will not have that anymore. And you know, a master number 11s tend to have a lot of anxiety. They tend to have a lot of stress because they have great expectations for themselves. They have put, they have set the bar very, very high because they know inherently that they were meant to do something of significance. So they've set the bar really high for themselves. Figuring out what that purpose is, what your significant contribution is supposed to be, what path you are supposed to be on, all of that goes away. The anxiety, the stress that you have, the great expectations that you've put on yourself, a lot of that becomes so much easier once you figure this out. And so I hope this has been helpful to you, master number 11. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Also, if there's anything else that you are interested in finding out about the master number 11, any other sort of guidance that you 
think would be beneficial that you would like me to give you, then please comment below and let me know what that is. Also, if any of this has resonated with you today, let me know in the comments below. And so if you want to check out my services and if you would like to book a reading with me, I will leave the information to that below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I would love to have you subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I am sending you light and love. Take care. Thank you.